What's up guys, it's Jay, more than they have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2, and it's another episode of my Seraph Weapon and Item Guide, where we go through the Seraph items in the game, show you what DLC they're from, what they are, and what they do. So we're in the Captain Scarlet and the Pirate Booty DLC, and you can buy Seraph items from the Seraph vendor in Oasis. He's right next to Shade Shack, and you can get Seraph items from purchasing them with the Seraph crystals that are dropped from the Seraph Guardians, and the Seraph Guardians are Master G, Hyperius, and Pyro P. But since today we're taking a look at one of the items from the Captain Scarlet and the Pirate Booty DLC, that's the shop that we're going to be at. So today we're taking a look at the Actualizer, which is a submachine gun made by Hyperion. And as you can see, it's got a lovely pearlescent pink job on there. And the red flavor text says, we need to talk about your DPS report. Okay, ha <laughs> ha, that is an office space easter egg, but I've seen this weapon anywhere from 6500 all the way up to 7200 damage and in a variety of different elements. Like every other Hyperion submachine gun out there, it has visible sway when you aim down the sights right off the bat, which is why I recommend hip firing right off the bat and then going into the ADS type of uh, aiming because it will be a little bit more effective than that as you can get a little bit dizzy from trying to aim this and having the weapon sway go all over the place. I don't recommend this weapon to be used by a Mecromancer because if you're using Anarchy on your Mecromancer, like most people should because Anarchy is fucking amazing. <laughs> It's uh, actually not really a good weapon for a character that has inaccurate weapon stats. Even though it boasts a plus 200% accuracy for your weapons, it doesn't actually make a real difference because the Hyperion Sway makes it real tough to control it off the first couple bursts. But once it starts going, it fires a little bit more accurate and you can damage people for it range. But I wouldn't even try using it for it range because uh, if an enemy has a sniper rifle, you're pretty much going to get fucked over and picked off. It's only once you start getting into the clip that it actually becomes pretty accurate. But it can become a bullet whore once you start firing and you're wasting a few bullets trying to get it on target. It's probably not the best combination for trying to pick people off at range. It's actually a pretty decent weapon up close and from medium range. So I wouldn't write this one off. Is it worth 120 Seraph Crystals? Well now since they introduced Pyro P and he drops a lot more Seraph Crystals, I would say give it a try. So, my name's Jay, more than after kill. This was my review of the Actualizer submachine gun from the Captain Scarlet and the Pirate Booty DLC. Haha, <laughs> so make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I do want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.